Well, a mentor is important, you know, for her. Um, after everything she's been through, her and her family, um, you know, people at her age need guidance, and I think that's why I'm here, just to help her and be that be that guidance that she needs. Hi, my name is Caden Smallbrock, and this is what it's like to walk in my shoes. I recently just tur turned 13, and I go to Rosa International Baccalaureate School. Hi, my name is Melissa Mollenbrock, and I am Cadence's mother. My husband left January 20th, 2004, and uh, I found out I was pregnant three days after he left. So Cadence was um, a week old when he came home for R&R &R and got to spend two weeks with her, and um, he did amazing things, um, things that you don't usually do with a one week old. He wanted to fit a lifetime of memories in to two weeks. Um, after those two weeks, he went back over to Iraq, and um, I would hear from him, not every day, but every once in a while I'd hear from him, but I would always hear from him between 12.30 and 2.30. And I was sitting at my parents' house, and um, I would wait there from 12.30 to 2.30 every day just to see whether or not he would call to get that 10 minutes in of, of getting to hear from him. My mom was out of the house, my sister was at school, and my dad was downstairs pulling up Christmas decorations. So it was just me and Cadence in the living room and she was in the bouncy seat and I uh, started making lunch and I heard a knock on the door. And I assumed it was a package. Sometimes um, Dave would send packages over from Iraq and um, so I went to the door and I left her in her bouncy seat and I went to the door and I opened the door and I looked down and the first thing you see is these black shiny shoes and um, you look up and there's two soldiers standing there. When it comes to the military and the wives, you know when two soldiers come to your door, um, you know what that means. And um, I don't really remember much after that. I know I screamed. The next day they came back and we started to plan everything. When I think about my dad, I think of heroism, how he was always funny with my mom, um, how he always put a smile on everyone's face, and that I didn't, even though I didn't get to meet him, he must have been a really good dad at the time. Her daddy doll is something that's very special that Taps gave her. Um, it has a picture of his face, and it has been sewn up quite a few times. The arms have uh, become loose, and um, the legs are torn because she's had it since she was about a year old, and she still continues to sleep with it every single night. So her daddy doll is her security, and it's her little bit of dad here while he's watching her from heaven. It's been amazing um, to get to know Cadence and her family. Um, I've certainly never been a mentor before, so it was something new to me. But when I met her and her family, I instantly fell in love with them. Just hearing their story and seeing how positive they are and, and how amazing they are, it's been a great experience for me. He's really cool. I was thinking how lucky I am to actually have a mentor and that TJ wants to be a mentor. Because I don't think I know many sports players who would want to teach a little kid, like at all. She's one of the most kind, selfless people that I know. Just interacting with her when I do, and her family, I can seriously say that about all of them. And you know, it, hearing their story, I don't know if I could be the same as they are. That's why I respect them so much. Thank you for being a part of this program, for taking time out of a very busy schedule and being a part of mine, Cadence, and Revy's life. I don't think you understand how much that did for her, how much you showed her, and every once in a while, everyone needs that reminder that people are still out there and, and care, and you did that for her, and that changed everything. She talks about you and brags about you and watches you on TV and she had an amazing time and you 
revived that in her. 